evening is a special presentation of Channel 2. From Channel 2 Sports, it's Warner Wolf's Plays of the Year. of the year, sponsored in part by the Good Olds Guys, your local Oldsmobile dealer, and Brooklyn Union Gas. Now, here's Warner. <laughs> Good evening. On this last Saturday night of the year, the plays of the year of 1985. So load up your VCRs. And let's go to the videotape, the first half of the plays of the year. All right, in January, the longest NBA shot of the year, Paul Pressey, Milwaukee Bucks, 60-footer, banks it in. The longest college shot of the month, Leslie Rockymore, Michigan, 50-footer, swish. The best missed stuff of January, James Bailey of the Knicks. The best slide of the month, Michael Jackson of Georgetown, safe. The college brawl of the month, Florida State in the white and Louisville in the red. Nice place kick. The longest hockey shot of January, Gerald Diddick, New York Island is a 180 foot shot good. The best foot in your face, John McEnroe, indoor championship. The best reaction after winning a long point, Jimmy Connors. The worst skiing accident of the month, Klaus Gutterman, West Germany, men's downhill, Kitzbühel, Austria, concussion and lacerations. The best off-balance shot of the month, Michael Adams, Boston College Swish. Longest shot of the year and in history, Bruce Morris, Marshall, 89 feet, 10 inches. The best touchdown pass of the month in the NBA, 76ers, cheeks to Julius and the stuff. The best push of the month, showing no respect to a superstar, Keith Acton pushes Wayne Gretzky. The best reaction to sinking a putt, Chi Chi Rodriguez, final round, Hawaii and open. All right, Chi Chi, wipe it off. In March, the shot of the month, Doran Gumchi, Israeli league, 87 foot hook shot. Here it is, and swish. The fouls of the month, Johnny Davis of Cleveland, fouled by Julius Irving, and Charles Davis of the Bucks, fouled by Michael Ray Richardson. Best attack by a goalie, Ron Lowe of the Devils who clobbers Bobby Carpenter of the Caps. The best wiggle of the month, following an interception in the USFL, Mike Guess of the Orlando Renegades. The coolest fighters of the month, Noberto Sabator and Billy Lee. In April, the best catch by a right fielder, John Christensen of the New York Mets, who robs George Hendrick of the Pirates. The best catch by a shortstop, over the shoulder, Bobby Meacham of the Yankees, who robs Rudy Law of the White Sox. Best catch by a catcher in the dugout, Tony Pena, Pirates. Worst catch of the month, Eric Davis of the Cincinnati Reds. Back, back, nice catch, Eric. The shot of the month, Albert King of the Nets, 50-footer. Here it comes, and swish. The best sneak punch of the month, number 34, Kim Olajuwon. Boom, hitting Billy Paltz. The most upset goalie of the month, Kelly Rudy of the Islanders, smash! The hockey fight of the month, Eddie Hospidar of the Flyers and George McPhee of the New York Rangers. The most spectacular horse spill, with fortunately no one getting seriously hurt and no horses destroyed. Seventh race at the Meadowlands. The fight of the year, Marvin Hagler, boom! KOing Tommy Hearns in round three. In May, the best catch by center fielder robbing a player of a home run. Brett Butler of Cleveland, who robs Tony Armas. Best catch by a third baseman of the dugout, Buddy Bell of the Rangers. The best try by a third baseman. That's it, Tommy Brookins of the Tigers. Most unusual double play, line drive off Pedrosian's shoulder to Zavella to Hubbard, double play. Worst collision with an umpire. It's Mike Hart of the Toledo Mudhands clobbering First base umpire, Denny Craig. The longest shot of May, Mike McGee of the Lakers. 50-foot shot, here it comes, and swish. The best push in the face, Robert Parrish of the Celtics, pushing Bill Lambeer. 
the best football catch of May. USFL, Joey Jones of the Birmingham Stallions, and he makes the catch. The worst move by two matadors in Spain in a bullfight. It's Jose Manzanares boxing the bull of Vicente Ruiz. Ruiz takes exception and goes after Manzanares. And that's no bull, folks. In June, the best catch by a diving shortstop, Ozzie Smith of the Cardinals. The worst communication by a third baseman and a catcher, Wade Boggs and Rich Gedman of the Red Sox. Nice catch, guys. Worst collision of June, Danny Heap in right field, Terry Blocker in center field of the New York Mets, and boom, down they go. The best temper tantrum of June by a major league manager, Chuck Cotier of the Seattle Mariners. Throw that equipment, Chuck. The best imitation of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris together. George Bell of Toronto, who attacks Bruce Keeson. Fine and suspended. Best chip shot out of a sand trap. Payne Stewart, U.S. Open, good. And Frank Field was at the game. All right, the first half of the plays of the year of 1985. We'll be back in just a moment with our Sportsmanship Awards. Sportsmanship Award 1985, but something different this year, folks. A three-way tie between John McEnroe, Bobby Knight, and Joaquin Andujar. So let's go to the videotape and first, Mr. Okay, McEnroe. After the match, you look at the match, okay? You watch a replay of the match. See how many of one you got right and see how many I got right. You're a recording big man, aren't you? Two feet tall. Stay away from my life, you know what I'm saying? Never see you again. I wouldn't be happy. Well, excuse me? Next, Indiana coach Bobby Knight, obviously upset at an official in the Indiana-Purdue game, tells the official to have a seat and throws a chair on the court. Knight was suspended one game. And former Cardinal Joaquin Andujar, upset at umpire Don Deckinger, ejected from the seventh and final game of the World Series. Andujar since traded to the Oakland A's. All right, our sportsmanship men of the year. It was also a great year for the big guys and the little guys. So let's go to the videotape. Great. In football, six foot two, 308 pound William Perry of the Bears, pass receiver, running back, blocking back, defensive tackle. On the other specter, five foot six, Joe Morris of the Giants, first giant to gain 1,000 yards in 13 years, setting an all time giant record for touchdowns. In the NBA, seven foot six and a quarter, Minute Bowl, University of Bridgeport, drafted by the Washington Bullets. On the other hand, five foot six inch Spud Webb of the Atlanta Hawks. And that was about the tall and the short of it. All right, we'll be back in a moment with the baseball milestones of 1985. I had a plan with a big baseball. A very big year for some baseball records in 1985. So let's go to the videotape. August 1st, Tom Seaver becomes the 17th man in baseball history to win 300 games. Baylor flies out. Seaver beats the Yanks for win number 300. Phil Negro becomes the 18th man in baseball to win his 300th game, beating the Blue Jays on the last day of the regular season. Pete Rose with a base hit off Eric Schau of the Padres. Hit number 4,192. Rose breaks Cobb's record, becomes the all-time hit leader. Nolan Ryan strikes out his 4,000th batter. Danny Heap of the Mets. Ryan, the only man in history to strike out 4,000 batters. Dwight Gooden becomes the youngest man in baseball to win 20 games in a season. All right, just a few of the baseball milestones in 1985. From baseball to golf, on August the 15th of this year, perhaps the most unusual back-to-back -back golf shots in the history of the game. Let's go to the videotape. All right, here it is. Second round, Flint, Michigan. Lanny Watkins and Tom Pertzer paired together. 
playing their final hole. First, Watkins. Here is his shot. What are the odds on hitting the flag, folks? Well, here's the ball, and boom, it hits the flag. Well, Kurtzer, on his shot, says, hey, man, you ain't seen nothing yet. I can hit the flag. Come on, give us a break. Here it comes, and boom, two guys hitting the flag back to back. All right, you saw it. Seeing is believing. We'll be back in a moment with a plays of the year, the second half of 1985. Ready now for the second half of the plays of the year of 1985. This catch by a Hall of Famer in an old-timers game. It is Willie Mays. Come on, Willie, and makes the catch. The worst catch by an outfielder losing the ball in the lights. Dale Murphy of the Braves. All right, Dale. Coming in. He's got it, right? Wrong. Watch out, Dale. The worst catch by an outfielder losing the ball in the sun. Right fielder Keith Moreland of the Cubs. Oh, he's got it, right? Wrong. The best effort by a center fielder who hits the wall. Lenny Dykstra of the Mets. Boom. The worst throw by a left fielder after making the catch. Lonnie Smith of Kansas City. The collisions of the month. First, Toby Hara of Texas, who forearms Joe Cali of the Yankees. And Jackie Clark and Mike Sosha. Down goes Sosha. The longest shot of the month, Jim Abramitis of Connecticut. United States Basketball League, 79-footer, swish! The best tennis success story of the year, 17-year-old Boris Becker, who wins Wimbledon in July. In August, the catch of the year, Ken Griffey of the Yankees, who climbs the fence and robs Marty Barrett of a home run and does a somersault. The worst catch of the month by a left fielder coming in. Vaughn Hayes of the Philadelphia Phillies. And nice catch, Vaughn. The worst catch by a left fielder going out. Reed Nichols of the Chicago White Sox. The worst fielding play by a first baseman and a pitcher. Keith Hernandez and Terry Leach of the Mets. The worst base running of the month. Bobby Meacham and Dale Bearer of the Yankees. The throw to the plate. Carlton Fisk puts it on both of them. One, two, and a double play. The worst pitch of the month, White Gooden of the Mets, who slips off the mound and rolls the ball in. The worst face mask pull in an exhibition game. Two tall Jones of the Cowboys pulling the mask of Keith Van Horn. The punch of the month, Iran Barkley down goes Norberto Saboteur. The best catch following a collision, Vince Coleman and Willie McGee. The best catch by a diving third baseman in foul territory, Wade Boggs of the Red Sox. The worst catch by three players on one pop-up, the Philadelphia Phillies. One, two, three, nobody's got it. The best dive into the stands by a right fielder after a long run, Reggie Jackson of the Angels. The worst play by a shortstop, flipping to no one, Tony Fernandez of the Blue Jays. The collision of the month, Keith Morland tags up at third and crashes into Cardinal catcher Tom Nieto. The best reaction by a manager after losing an argument, Earl Weaver of the Orioles. The worst move by a punter after fumbling a snap from center, Ron Stark of the Colts. In September, the best impromptu cold shower, giant assistant coach Bill Belichick after a giant win. The best shot between the legs, Yannick Noah in the U.S. Open. In October, the best effort of the month on a foul pop-up. George Brett of the Kansas City Warriors in game two. The best juggling catch of the month, Jim Sunberg, American League playoffs. Here comes Sunberg and one, two, three. The flip of the month, Ozzie Smith of the St. Louis Cardinals before game five in the World Series. The biggest running back in football history, 308-pound William Perry, who scores against Green Bay. And spike it, Willie. Here it is. Boom. The worst hit on a goalpost in a college game. Tight end Scott Halverson of Iowa. The best college play of the year. South Carolina quarterback Mike Hold against Pittsburgh. Hold goes back to his 10. 
He says, I better get out of here. He now 10. Let's try the five in the end zone. Now he comes back, throws downfield to Anthony Smith. Deflected into the hands of Raynard Brown, who runs 50 yards, completing an 80-yard touchdown. The best stranglehold and pile up Steve Stepanovich of the Pacers and Patrick Ewing of the Knicks. The longest college shot of the month, Ken Niebuhr, Davidson, 70-footer swish. The longest hook shot of the month, Craig Hodges, Milwaukee Bucks, 55-footer swish. The meanest move by a goalie, Bob Janicek of the L.A. Kings, who first slashes Peter Zessel of the Flyers and then gets Zessel again. The catch of the month, John Stallworth of the Pittsburgh Steelers. One, two, and three. The boo of the month, Clemson University, beating on Maryland player Lou Askew. Six Clemson players suspended and are put on probation. The legal hit of the month, Vince Newsom, who clobbers Phil McConkie. The late hit of the month, watch number 26, Matt Suey, hit by Ken Still of Green Bay. The best call by an official while on his back. Side judge Bill Quimby. Call it Bill. The worst move by two high school teams coming out for the second half. The State of Oregon AAA playoffs. The punch of the month, Vinny Pazienza. Right hand, down goes Melvin Paul. And here it is, the fast break of the month. Ainge to Bird, behind the back to McHale. And Frank Field was at the game. All right, hope you enjoyed it. The second half of the Plays of the Year, 1985. We'll be back in just a moment with a musical tribute to the winners. Warner Wolf's Plays of the Year has been sponsored in part by the Good Olds Guys, your local Oldsmobile dealers, and Sports Illustrated. Get the feeling. All right, 1985 was a good year for many. So here's Frank Sinatra, and here's to the winners.
right, before we leave, I'd like to thank my editor, Tony D. Giovanni, my producers, Carmine Sincata and Cliff Gelb, and also thank Gary Goldstein, Doug Rabina, and George Seda for their help. Until next year, this is Warner Wolf wishing you a very happy, healthy new year. Keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. In good times, in bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. Oh, that's what friends are for. Oh!